This is breaking news. New coaches for The Voice Australia are revealed after Di Sebastian's sudden exit from singing show. The Voice Australia appears set to have a major cast shake-up after Guy Sebastian's shock exit from the singing competition this week. Reports have surfaced that current coaches Kate Miller-Heike and Adam Lambert are ready to follow the 43-year-old kitmaker out the door. And an insider has claimed the network is attempting to lure former fan favourites, including Keith Urban, back as coach. The lineup that Channel 7 wants is Keith Urban, Jessica Moboy, Rodan Keating and Leanne Rimes, a source told Yahoo Lifestyle on Saturday. Urban 57 last appeared on the reality hit as coach in 2022 and fans were ecstatic when he popped up earlier this year as a guest. Keith was asked about returning when he recorded a performance for the grand final and he sounded open to the idea. As long as it works with his wife Nicole Kidman's plans to be back in Australia at the same time the insider said. The source also confirmed that US singer Rhymes 42 is likely to return in 2025. In the lead-up to this year's Fanel, Leanne's management kept talking about the next series and what she plans to do differently, the insider added. Leanne was clear about her ambition to return next year, and Channel 7 are keen to have her back after her artist won. They also said that fans shouldn't expect to see Kate Bax since she appeared a little out of place on the show. Meanwhile, Rodan Keating, 47, was last seen on for The Voice Australia back in 2016 and has appeared as a judge for the series in the UK and Germany. The source said the former Boyzone singer was very keen to appear on the Australian version of the show again. It comes after Sebastian sensationally quit The Voice Australia on Wednesday. The Australian Idol winner shared the lengthy shock announcement to Instagram across several black and white slides. He began by congratulating the show's current winner, Ruben DeMello, before detailing how he came to his dramatic decision. I have some news to share with you all regarding my role as a voice coach, he began. I have made the decision to take a break from the best red chair on the planet. It's been six amazing years as a coach, and it's honestly been the best gig ever. I have nothing but good things to say about the show itself, and sharing the panel with such amazing coaches has been a pleasure. The best thing about the show is how positive it is and how much care and passion goes into making it a safe place for artists, he continued. For me right now, it's time to focus more on my core, which is writing and performing new music. I am busy planning shows in Australia and worldwide, and I am really looking forward to getting out and connecting with you all there. The Angels Brought Me Here singer concluded with chatter about his upcoming album, which he's poured his heart and soul into over the last four years, before ending with a warning. Whoever has the audacity to take my chair, don't get too comfortable. I will wrestle for it back with zero dignity, when I'm ready to return, he wrote. Channel 7 was quick to offer their well wishes. Guy has been a powerhouse coach for The Voice on 7. His mentorship and command of artistry has been inspirational to our voice artists and viewers alike, as well as the production team and all its 7, commented 7 Network Chief Content Officer Brooke Hall. We thank Guy for his unwavering passion and positive energy on set and wish him well for next year, the release of his new album and his live shows. Our full coaching lineup for the 2025 season of The Voice will be revealed in coming months.